Okay, so I think we got uh, pretty much most of the game mechanics down. Uh, we should, let's wrap it up. Uh, why don't we make like an ending area where we finish the game, like a little checkpoint that we can go to either the next level or you just win. Okay, how are we gonna do that? So right click, we need, first we need to pick an object that is like our little flag saying that this is the goal. Um, if we make this like a Zelda type of game, you're rescuing a princess or something, we usually have a character in the end. Um, we have a character number two, right? But we never use that. Let's make him or her idol. I don't know what this look like. Okay, we'll idol to the left. Right. Okay. So let's see. Okay, let's take a look. Loop this. All right, that's that's cool. Um, right. Actually, maybe we should make it down for it because we want to see our face. Um, so I go down, and we'll call this the. Oh, okay, let's disable the gooey layer. This is called the princess. Okay. Uh, yeah, all those. Things. We will not name those for now, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we have the princess. Did we put in the wrong layer? Yes, we did. Okay, change her back in the game layer. Okay, this is the princess. Uh, our princess looks more like a guy for some reason. <laughs> um. Alright, well... It is what it is, okay? Um, look almost exactly like a main character for some reason. Okay, you know what? Alright, it's okay. It's all good. Just stick with it. Um, Alright, so we have our main character here. Um, why don't we put some stones here so you can only end from this area? So right click. Um, we can. Import from strip, uh, and then I remember in the miscellaneous there's a rock tab here that we can use. Where did they go? They put in the wrong layer again. Yes. All right. So disable this and click on the game layer. So we always put it on the game layer. Okay. So there's a rock here. So you see how this was um, disappearing? That's because this is on top of it. So if you want to make this on top, we can change the Z elevation of this to be like 0 0.03 or something like that. Yep. Uh, we also want to add a solid behavior to the rock so that the people the player cannot walk through it. Okay, I think this is good enough, right? Okay, and then, so maybe when the player touches the princess or whoever this is, um, why don't we change her hair color because this is very confusing. Um, let me change this back to 255, we want it to be a solid color. This will, there we go. Uh, Maybe, maybe a little darker. No, no one prepared that blonde. Like this. Okay. Uh, let me add some highlight here. Oops. Again, Taylor will teach you guys about art. Um, that's not my strong point here. There we go. Uh, and then we can give her something red to wear. Purple to wear. Right. Yep, I'm just gonna leave it like this. <laughs> okay. Um, oh no, I forgot. I didn't recolor everything. That's not good. Um, you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna make my own animation. I'm gonna duplicate this, and then I'm gonna select her head. 
move her head down a little bit. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna move her whole body down a little bit. Like this. Alright, and then I'm just gonna make the speed like two or something like that. Good enough, right? Okay. <laughs> there we go. Should look different now. Um, okay, so we want it so that when the player touches the um, when the player touches the princess, or when the princess touches the player, it doesn't matter. Uh, why don't we make when the princess is overlapping with the player, and then we can do the text message thing again. So we will copy this. And say, hey, Boa. Nice to. Wow. Mm, quote. <laughs> Remember, we need our message inside quotes like, hey, Boa. Nice to uh, see you here. Let's get going. And that'll be the end of our game. Um, and then. So remember, we need to set a variable, so we make sure that we only send the image once. Uh, I mean, sorry, <laughs> we only show the message once. So add a global variable, uh, and then we set this variable boolean. Um, why don't we call this the princess reached mark flag right here. We'll set it to false in the beginning, and then once we touch, I mean, once they got made contact, we'll set that to true. Um, Set the boolean to true. Okay, and then you can only show the message if we, if you never have have not reached the princess before. Okay, I think that would be good. Uh, and then we can add an action later, like set a timer and go to the next screen, exit game, something like that. Okay, now the biggest bigger problem is can I actually beat this game because I'm very bad at it. Huh. Yep, like I said, I'm very bad at it. Ugh. This is so upsetting. How long how many tries gonna take me to win this? I think we got this. Um, yes. Oh wait. Why why isn't the message triggered? That's not good. Um Okay, well let's see what's going on there. Well first I think it tri the, this look a little almost like an old guy. Old man right here. It doesn't matter. Okay, what is the collision mask? So that's decent. It's not bad. Why is the event not triggering? Oh, yes. Forgot. <laughs> Remember, you want to trigger this when you never reached the princess before, right? Haha, uh -huh. okay. Let's try this again. Here, so we can just set a timer. Remember, our uh, player have a timer. Uh, we start timer. And we say maybe this is the wind timer. Uh, we'll give this three second, and then we can say if the timer is up on timer on the wind timer, we're going to go to the next layout. Okay, so let's add a new layout, and we only need the layout. This is basically just a windscreen. Um, you can decorate this, you can make it a new level, uh, but I'm just going to end it right here. Uh, this series is getting long, we can do more later on. Um, we'll just say, you win. Alright, and this is the end of the game. 
because we have more stuff to do. We need to learn how to publish this and all that uh, at that, that time. Center it, center it. Okay. Um, and then we just say like, uh, oh yeah, make sure when you, they said there's no event sheets tied to this, okay? But if you make a new level, make sure you attach an event sheet, it's like event sheet number one, since we programmed already. Um, okay, so when the time um, our timer is up, we would go to the next screen. So we go to the next layout. Uh, it's under system, layout. Yeah, we can go to the next, go to layout. Which layout? Layout number one, okay. All right, let's try this. I think this is it. Alright, chop, okay. <sighs> okay, how long is it going to actually take me to win this game? Okay, it goes here. It goes here. Alright, it goes here. Alright. We're good. Woo! Alright, so, good job on making it this far, if you did. Um, let's um, learn how to publish this game online so we can share it with our friends. So remember, um, I'm just showing you the basic, but I think you learned a lot from following this tutorial series. Uh, so feel free to keep working on the game, add more levels. Um, you know we got all this extra space to work with here, you can make your level a lot bigger. Uh, I'm just showing you the basics here, but feel free to explore on your own, if you have a question, leave uh, something in the comments below and I will try to get back to you. Alright, so I'll see you in the next video on publishing this game online. Alright, see you there.